I got the very first centering scope. Inside the box it comes with the camera and a thumb drive that has the program to run the camera and the instructions. There's a small spot on this piece of aluminum and I made an arrow pointing at it. With the camera mounted in the spindle I'll show what the image looks like on the computer screen. The first thing that needs to be done is a quick camera calibration. To start the calibration, click on the camera setup button. Next, click on the lock button to lock the scaling. Adjust the spindle Z-axis to bring the camera into focus and then lock the Z-axis. Next, click on adjust Z to focus. Next, adjust the X and Y axis on the milling table to put the crosshairs on the target. Click the center head on a reference point and then press the set button. Click the rotate spindle 180 degrees and then rotate the spindle 180 degrees. Now use the arrow keys in the camera setup screen to center the crosshairs back over the target. Now click the center button. After clicking the center button, the crosshairs may no longer be on the target. Adjust the X and Y axis on the milling table to put the crosshairs back on the target. Next, rotate the spindle and the crosshair should stay on target. If the crosshairs do not stay on target, repeat the calibration process again by pressing the calibration redo or refine button. I remove the camera and put a carbide pointer in the spindle. I'm going to mark the spot with a carbide pointer. 
I reinstalled the camera. You can see that the mark is dead center on the target. Another use for the centering scope is aligning your vise on your mill. The first thing it says to do is to uncheck the toggle circle to remove the circle from the crosshairs. Next, remove the crosshair gap by setting the gap slider to zero and maximize the length of the crosshair lines by dragging the size slider to the maximum. Next, adjust the X and Y axis on the mill and put the crosshairs on the edge of the vice jaw. Here's something I want to try on my round column mill. With the crosshair set on the edge of the vise jaw, I'm going to loosen the milling head and move it up 6 inches on the column. I'm going to see if I can realign the mill head with the edge of the vise without adjusting the X and Y axis on the milling table. After moving the mill head up six inches, the camera lost a little bit of its focus. I'm going to see if I can adjust the focus a little bit. I'm going to adjust the quill down just a little bit. The mill head is still raised up six inches. Here I'm tightening up the bolts for the mill head to put a little bit of pressure on the column.
This is a game changer for my round column mill. I'm even more surprised that my y-axis didn't change when I moved the mill head up. I knew the x-axis would be off, but I was able to put the x-axis back on target with the camera. Whenever I'm working on a project, I try not to move the mill head, but sometimes it doesn't always work out that way. I just use the centering scope on the edge of the vise jaw, but you could use it to target any reference point and then go right back to it if you had to move the mill head. There may be a part two to this video on the centering scope. There's a lot more it can do that I'm still learning.